I'm Janae, and this is Jason. We've embarked on the adventure of a lifetime. We're two ocean-loving Aussies travelling the world by sailboat and making movies along the way. Tune in every week for new episodes. Enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. It's very grey and gloomy today. Has been the past few days. And we're leaving in two days so hopefully it clears up for us but I doubt it's going to so we're just Jason's gonna get up in the chair what's it called it's a chair lift <laughs> I'm gonna change the laser jack lines because they are absolutely killing us when we're out at anchor the wind it slaps against these really bad so we're going to run it through the holes on the spreaders. Oh yeah. So hopefully it doesn't rattle as much. What about the other side? I'll do the other side next, but you want to grab this and you want it on this side of the... You want it on this side of the shroud. Okay. But that side of the rigging. What a view. There's actually swell coming in over there. So I'm just checking our lines and rigging. See if there's anything out of the ordinary. But yeah, we've what we've done is we've put the lazy jack lines through there so we don't get any rattle on the mast, which is killing us. Hey Steve! How you going? What you doing there, hon? I'm just uh, sticking some solar on. I like the get up. Thank you. Hello. Even though you've fallen down the stairs with those shoes and socks on yeah. numerous times today. These are dangerous cars. So how are you doing it? I'm gonna whack it on there. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, just stick it on there. Does everyone like Jason's tutorial? Hope for the best. Right, well I guess we'll just show you guys when yeah. it's done. How windy is it? Yeah, it's pretty horrible. I need a wind generator, not solar. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> it's winter anyway. We've got a massive low coming um, over Greece at the moment. It's blowing over 80 knots, supposedly, in some places right now. It's a bit scary, and we're leaving this marina in two days, and that's where the low is supposed to be over the top of us. So we'll play it by ear. We're not going to risk our lives, that's for sure. Unless you want to, huh? This always seems to happen when we have to exit a country. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. I think it'll calm down by the time it gets here anyway. I hope so. Anyway, we'll show you guys when the solar's installed. Or maybe we should show you during, because we're pretty bad like that, aren't we? Yeah, I don't know if I'm doing it right, so maybe don't. <laughs> That's impossible to get to. There's no way I can get in there. I don't know how I'm gonna get up. It's up to you. God, that was funny. Tell me when I'm scared. I've got tears. <laughs> Jason got in there head first, slid all the way down, and then. <laughs> Got a bit claustrophobic, didn't you? Yeah, it's scary when and you're upside like... down and you know you can't get up by yourself. <laughs> and your girlfriend's saying, I'm not going to be able to lift you. Yeah, and you've got like a leg cocked out of here, just like... <laughs> That's time. Oh, God. The weather is getting worse as the day goes on. We just had the biggest lightning strike and I definitely think it hit someone's mast in the marina. It was huge. I just said to Jason, I'm happy that we have a short mask compared to a lot of other people. It's going to be an interesting day. I'm kind of glad we're in the marina right now. Let's hope this isn't what's to come for the rest of winter. We have a messy boat always lately, but Jason has been on fire this week. <laughs> what's happening? You got us all back. Oh, you're excited. On fire. On fire. 
He has service the engine, service the generator, major services. This is well, not minor. And he's fixed the Wabasto. So we've got nice, a bit hard to see. We've got nice warm air blowing out of there right now. So nice and toasty in here. All thanks to Ant from SV Impavitus. Impavitus, yeah. He's he's honestly been a champ and helped me out. He's basically just explained things to me. And um, you should go check his channel out. He's actually on YouTube. Yeah, he's another sailing channel, but he does lots of uh, boat mechanics, doesn't he? Yeah. They, like how-to videos or... They've got a normal day-to-day um, -day channel and then like a maintenance kind of side. Yeah, so if you need, good. To, need to fix anything on your boat, check out their videos. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you want to listen to some poms rumbling on. <laughs> Some Check people, out their videos. There's lots of people that like Pommy accents. Well, there you go. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. <laughs> We're leaving today. Super nervous. Super excited. There's a lot of emotions going. Um, I'm nervous that I haven't serviced the engine right. It's going to conk out on us, but... Hopefully it doesn't. We've got sails in case, but I don't think there's much wind today, so... See how we go. Fingers crossed. Anyway, let's get to it. I always say that. Anyway, let's get to it. We're, um, we're off to the shop. We need a new jerry can for our fuel. It's last minute fuel. It's last minute fuel, food. <laughs> Fuel yeah, fuel, fuel for the body. <laughs> um, and we're waiting on an air filter, but supposedly they said it's not going to come till five o'clock today. So I don't know what we're going to do there because we want to leave well before then. Anyway. To be honest, we hadn't turned our instruments on since we arrived in the marina, and in the rush of getting ready to leave that day, we didn't think to turn them on ahead of time. We basically worked our way up with a multimeter to work out where the issue was coming from. We ended up finding the problem after about two and a half hours and the help of our Aussie friend Simon. So thanks, Simon. It was just a bad connection that had possibly loosened up over time or corroded. So we got it working for the time being and finally got going. We're off. Finally. <laughs> Only two and a half hours late for the time that we wanted to leave by at the latest. We're just going to cop some wind now, it's the only problem. Great. <laughs> this is what I like to hear. What we'll do, we'll, once we get out there, yeah, I'll we'll just get the... you to steer. Yeah. And I'll tie that passerelle up. Yeah. And then we'll put the tender at the back. Yeah. Stars are tracing the sky like city windows. I watch you reflect in your eyes. Bye bye, Finnegan Marina. Jason's 
pulled apart stuff and tried to get it going and now we've noticed like pretty much all of our other instruments aren't working so this isn't working properly because true and apparent wind speed are both showing the same thing our meat uh we normally have our depth here but we can't find it it's just not showing up anymore and boat knots is not reading which never was right from the get-go today the best start to our exit of the marina had a lot of things fail on us um, but I guess it's times like these when you rock up to something like this then it all your worries go away yeah you forget about it all <laughs> pretty nice here we're yep. actually we're actually pretty much here so you can anchor if you yeah good to go sweet Again this morning it is 7 30 but it's still dark and we're going to go to cash where we were meant to go yesterday before we had lots of electrical problems <laughs> and rain and wind against us wind against us so we're trying to go early while the wind is kind of in our favor how long does it take to get there maybe uh, 20, 20 north miles couple of hours three hours maybe yeah, probably. so yeah wish us luck um, we won't know if the autopilot and all of that are working properly until we actually get going so we think we fixed the problem but we're not sure yeah what was the problem what we think was the problem um, so the charts speak to all the instruments and this um, chart plotter wasn't working properly, it, there was no power to it. Um, so we think that now we've got this fixed that it should hopefully, everything should talk to each other and the autopilot should work and the instrument should work properly because we didn't have a proper wind gauge. We didn't the have... The depth thing was stuffing our up, it was yeah. working sometimes for yeah. others. So we're not sure if it's actually solved the problem or not but we'll soon find out. We think it has. <laughs> anyway, we'll update you guys. The sun's just coming up. Yeah, we're getting a, um, it's not, it's not a software computer issue, no, is it? No, it's not. It's clunking a bit. So, I don't know, I, I wouldn't have a clue what's wrong with it. YouTube is our best friend.
we figured out the problem with the auto pilot. The bolt has snapped off from the what attaches the auto pilot to the steering. Um, we hope it's just that because that's will be a super easy fix. We've just got to find that certain bolt. But we're heading into cash now and surely they've got a bolt shop somewhere or a hardware store that sells something. Fingers crossed, but the weather's come good right now. We've got a bit of wind right in front of us, so we're not sailing. Well, it's actually probably coming about this way. Um, but we're nearly there now anyway. But yeah, it seems something breaks. Uh, we fix one thing and then another thing breaks. It's just never ending. But um, we're finally getting on top of it. There's only a few, few more little tweaks we need to do and then we're good to go. Crossing the grace. Fingers crossed. We haven't really got the sails up too much the last two days that we've been out. So fingers crossed that's all good. Greek Island again. Turkey. Greece. Turkey. Greece. We're um, gonna do a bit of research and see if we can possibly check into this island of Greece first. I did read online that you can only check into main ports at the moment, which I don't actually know what that means. So we're gonna have a bit of a Google, see if we can find an agent so we can ask if we can check in there because that will make life 10 times easier. And then we can just stay there until we have a really good weather window to cross to Rhodes. Um, because Rhodes is like, how many nautical miles? 50 nautical miles? 70. 70 from here, but we were going to go to Fethier. So, fingers crossed we can. Which then means we also have to find an agent here in Cash to check out, and we have to get our PCR test here if that's the case. But it'll make life so much easier because it's now the 14th, and we don't have to check out of here until the 17th. So, we can relax. Has it finished? Why are you asking me now? What type of question is that? Yacht, boy. Is the album finished or do we have a few more songs to go? It seems like it's got one or two more. Oh, we are not done yet. Okay. Exactly. Okay. No, I, I, I've heard you, I've heard you. Shall. We have arrived in Kaj. Anchoring in a different spot for today. So we're a bit closer to town. Which is just over there. And then we'll probably move back over to the anchorage you stayed in last time over there. Um, just so we're a bit more protected when the wind changes about four o'clock today. It looks beautiful here. If only it was summer. It's like a little pebble beach and the water gets really clear there. And then it's almost like a bit of a cave over there. Really nice water. Anyway, just about to anchor. Sunshine. 